What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to take control of your notifications in a very granular way on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or any Samsung phone running One UI 6.0, 6.1, etc. Gonna show you how to enable a feature that Samsung turned off by default on the Galaxy S24 Ultra with One UI 6.1 and also a hidden addition that you can have that'll let you save all of your notification history because I don't know about you guys, Sometimes I get a notification, I was wondering what it was because I accidentally swiped it away. You can get that back using your Samsung phone. Before we get started, I do want to talk about a product that my friends at Anchor sent out to me, and that is their brand new 15 watt max pocket size three in one charger. And this is specifically engineered for Apple products, but I know a lot of you guys out there just like me have multiple devices. Of course, as you know, I do have my Apple Watch Ultra, which I wear pretty often, even though I use my Samsung phone as my main phone. Uh, I also have a MagBack case on my Galaxy S24 Ultra, which allows me to use MagSafe accessories. So this could also be used with your Samsung phone and also could be used to charge your Galaxy Buds. So what you've got is MagSafe compatible, two times faster, ultimate portability. As I said, it is specifically designed for the iPhone, but it is something that if you have that MagSafe case like the MagBack, you can use it on your Galaxy phone. 15 watt wireless charging, Active Shield 2.0 safety system, ultra lightweight portability. Now I'll show you guys some of the B-roll right here of me using it, but basically you set this up on your desktop. It looks really nice. Everything's nice and compact. You can basically fold it up, put it in your bag so it's really easy and portable to use. And you can charge your smartwatch, you can charge your buds, and you can charge your phone. Now the one thing I do wish, as I said, was that I could charge up my Galaxy Watch because I rotate between my Apple Watch and my Galaxy Watch, but it is really nice to have the ability to charge my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra using the MagBag case, and also lay my Galaxy Buds 2 Pro right on top of the charging pad where the AirPods Pro would go, and I can charge those up as well. So I would say this is an awesome product, especially if you have a lot of devices like I do. You have an iPhone and a Samsung phone, but even if you want to use it with your Samsung devices, it is a compact solution for your Buds and for your phone if you have one of those MagBag cases that I talked about before. I'll drop the link below for you guys to purchase this device right here from Anchor, fantastic device. I've really enjoyed using it. It's really added to the uh, beauty of my desktop setup as well as the utility and I can use it on the go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started today. We're going to talk about notifications on your Galaxy S24 Ultra or other Samsung device. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that Samsung removed a really important notification setting on the Galaxy S24 Ultra with One UI 6.1. If you go into your main settings and go to notifications and advanced settings, Scroll all the way to the bottom, there's this option, manage notification categories for each app. This is turned off by default, and this is a super important setting because not only does it allow you to take control of each individual notification for all the apps on your phone, it also lets you change your app sounds from a per app basis. Now I made a full video on how to change your app sound on a per app basis, but essentially this involves going to the apps menu, choosing the application that you're interested in, and then going in and actually changing these in the per app notification settings. Now, if you don't turn on the option that I mentioned before, you won't see all of these settings here. So you won't be able to get all these individual categories like notification categories down here at the bottom. And then you won't be able to set your sound for each of these things individually. So this is a huge notification change with One UI 6.1. Samsung didn't talk about it. I really don't like it because it takes away user choice. And also, like I said, the ability to set individual app sounds for each notification category, but you can re-enable it like that right there. The other feature I want to talk about is using Noti Star inside GoodLock. So if you download Samsung's GoodLock module, of course, you guys know GoodLock, I talk about it a lot on this channel. It's a suite of customization apps that Samsung created themselves. It's a division within Samsung. It's not a third party app that allows you to customize your device using various modules. These are separate apps. Noti Star is one of those modules. Now, Noti Star, if you download it, you can download it from the side menu once you download GoodLock. It'll take you in here and basically what it does is it gives you a history of your notifications and you can choose how long you want to save this history and you can even filter whether or not the notification history is saved based on keywords and apps. So if you go to the three dot menu at the top, go into settings here, you'll have the option to activate, then you'll have the applications list. The applications list will basically choose which apps will appear in NotiStar which is the notification history that you're gonna get. You can go through and search through at any time. So you might wanna turn off some of the ones that you don't care about saving notifications for. Then you can filter the notifications using this user filter list. So if you add a filter, you can choose, let's say, you know, messages 
And then I only want to get messages that are from, you know, let's say they're from my wife. So I'm going to put her name in there. And then down here, I'll choose the application that I care about. So you can turn off all apps. I only talk to her on Google chat. So for instance, here, I only want Nicole and I also only want Google chat. So if that's the case, then I'll get all my notifications saved that are particularly from her. Now you can also do this by topic, not just by person, but you can also choose to filter it however it works best for you. It's a great option to customize which notification history is saved. The next thing is using on the lock screen. This allows you to open up notice star on the lock screen. So if you go to the lock screen, you'll notice some people have seen this in my video before. I have this little arrow icon right here. This is the notice star icon. If you swipe up right there, it'll take you right into notice star and you can see your notifications there, see your all down here. It shows you those separate categories that you did for filter. So if I had a message for Nicole, it would appear in this tab right there, which is a really nice feature. You can customize the start icon settings. So you can see here, You've got the little arrow right there. I can change it to yellow or blue, change the transparency, whatever I want to do. Uh, you can even go in here and change it to white or black. Although, you know, I kind of like the blue one, but maybe with the orange, I'll go with black here. So it's nice to be able to customize this a little bit, you know, kind of see how it looks. Sync with screen lock. This determines if you go directly into notice star, if you swipe up on the arrow, you do have to put in your pen, of course, or your pattern or whatever, if you have you know, a secure lock screen, but you can sync it. If you don't, then if you accidentally swipe up on the arrow, it won't go to notice star. And actually in order to get to the history, you'll have to go into the application inside good lock and manually open it up to review your notification history. Down here, you can set the uh, length of time and you can do no limit, seven days, 30 days, six months and one year. Uh, notifications older than the select data range will be deleted. There's no limit means you're going to store all of these. That's a long time. I usually choose mine for like six months. If I don't need a notification uh, to look at a notification from six months, then I feel like I probably don't ever need it again, but you can decide what you want to do there. They also have a really cool labs feature called set app unable to clear notifications. So what this does is if I turn this on and I go in here and let's say I don't want to be able to clear my Gmail notifications. Now it's probably not going to apply to the one that's already there. If I set this and then I go back up here, like I said, this one might not work. If I clear here, you'll see, you see how this is completely, now how it's completely grayed out. I can't do it because I've set this one unable to clear. So I cannot clear my Gmail notification. Now, if I turn this off and go back, now of course I have the option, I can clear it out. So if you only have a notification from the one you set to never clear, it won't be available. And if you have a whole bunch and you hit the clear all button, it's only gonna clear the ones that you didn't put in the list. So if I had Gmail in the list and I cleared everything, Gmail will still stay there. That's a pretty awesome feature. Sometimes I forget I have it turned on uh, and then it becomes a little annoying because they, they pile up. But if you have a specific app where that use case would be very useful for you, I can see why that feature would be cool. And it's something they added recently, still in the labs phase. Anyway, these are some great tips to help you guys take your notifications to the next level on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Notification management, a real strong suit of Samsung devices. As I said before, if you guys would like to check out the Anchor 3-in-1 15-watt max pocket size charger, uh, MagSafe compatible, uh, check out the link in the description in the pinned comment to purchase a really awesome item that I've added to my desktop setup. I've been really happy with it. Those of you who use an iPhone and a Samsung phone together and or use a MagBag case like I do, I can take advantage of this with your Samsung device. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.